accept my greetings, tears. So today on our next Lazarski on Air Students on Air episode, we have got a new guest, Janetta. She's a TikTok star creator, ex Lazarski University student, uh, a person who has around 100,000 uh, views and followers on TikTok and about 2 million likes. Here's her short work that we are going to see. Aston Martin, 1960. Yes, Janata, thank you for coming today. Thank you. Um, so, as uh, can you please explain us what is TikTok itself? Because as we all know, this is a relatively new app that emerged. Can you please introduce us? With this? Yes, exactly. It's a brand new social network and uh, I can say that it's so promising right now because on Instagram right now it's so complicated to become popular, to have a blog because you always have to put money for advertising, for the target and so on. But in TikTok actually you can just pause the video, you can go to bed and next day you will just wake up and see lots of likes, uh, lots of new followers and you can actually become popular in just one night. So it's really so great. One night. I guess it's hard to be to get into recommendations. What do you think? Um, Right now, it's much more complicated than it, that it was before because, uh, for instance, one year ago when almost nobody knew about TikTok platform and it was not as popular as now, uh, I can say that it was really so easy because uh, all the popular bloggers who have uh, more than 5 million of followers on TikTok now, they started one year ago or even earlier. But right now, if you're entering in, in TikTok and start um, having a blog, yes, put an effort to gain the mm, bigger audience, it's complicated, yes. Yeah, I have seen a lot of stories, like, I bought a lamp, I bought everything, I started doing that, <laughs> but I'm not yeah. in recommendations and I'm not popular. <laughs> yes, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually the problem because, um, of course, if you buy a uh, light, if you buy great phone with great camera, if you buy, I don't know, the tripod and so on, all the equipment, all the stuff, it's perfect. Yes, it's so great because your video will be in a high quality and more people would like to watch it till the end. But if you don't have an interest in content on your page, nobody cares, like nobody will watch it at least till the end, because algorithms of TikTok, they work in like this. Uh, people, they have to watch your video till the end. They have to rewatch it for some amount of times, at least for two times or three. You, uh, they have to like it, to leave the comment, to leave the comment, to make a repost and so on. So if person, if the audience will not do it, you will not get into recommendations and like for you page. Yeah, that's that's pity that they actually changed the algorithm. Yes, itself. every day. <laughs> so uh, you told us about the content. If it's not interesting, what sort of content itself is present on TikTok? I mean, the most popular ones. Uh, it's also so changing because, um, like for instance, one year ago, uh, dancing and like lip sync, it was so popular. And uh, if you know Charlie D'Amelio, it's like uh, the most popular blogger on TikTok. She has about 10, oh my God, no, uh, 100, 100 million, millions yeah. of followers, something like that. So it's like really a huge audience, I think. And she always, uh, she's always making the content with dancing, with lip sync, and that's all. So she just doesn't care about something other, something really uh, useful for people. Uh, but right now, if you will just post a video like when you're just dancing and singing something and so on, it will not be interesting for people because they see it every single day and it's not popular anymore. But right, but right now, uh, exactly expert content on TikTok is gaining popularity because you can post something really useful for people, something about healthcare, about some makeup tutorials. Uh, if you're an English teacher, you can post some tips to learn in English or learn in math and something like that. So it's more uh, like more what? attractive right now. Like you mean TikTok can teach us actually something convenient, something? Yes, yeah. yes. Right now, yes, because uh, after uh, the pandemic situation has started, yes, uh, a lot of people has 
have entered the TikTok platform mm. and um, most of them, let's say, cannot dance or sing. So uh, they wanted, to, they want actually right now as well to gain the audience um, uh, through their like talents. Yes, I mean, uh, maybe they know, as, as I said before, English so, so great on a great level, or maybe they are makeup artists like girls, yes, and sh uh, they they think that they can teach something people, like some makeup tutorials and uh, how to look much more beautiful in the mornings, I don't know, some tips, so it's really so great, so it's... Yeah, that's great. What about your content? What sort of content do you have? My content is all always changing and uh, I can say that now I have the main topic. It's about some facts, actually facts in the each sphere. It could be education, it could be, I don't know, planets, animals, something like facts are always, I think, interesting for people. People want to know more, um, more information, more shocked information, like, wow, really? I <laughs> didn't think like that. And I think that's um, a great type of content. But anyway, you have to develop it all the time. And right now I'm thinking about something new, something more interesting. Maybe uh, I will uh, make more videos about TikTok tips, like how to get into recommendations, into For You page and teach people how to become popular on TikTok. <laughs> and actually, you're going to uh, share with some tips in the end of our conversation, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, so. How did you feel when your video firstly went viral? And what did you feel? What sort of video it was? Uh, I remember that day because as I said before, I, uh, I'm always changing my content and uh, approximately half a year ago, uh, I always uh, wanted to become popular due to my videos about uh, foreigners, foreigners in Poland. So it was like a jokes about foreigners in Poland, about how to get residence card, how is it complicated, how Polish language is complicated for, um, for many people. And um, I remember that day, uh, I actually uh, recorded this video like for five minutes. It took me five minutes only and then I edited it for 10 minutes more. Then it took me a couple of seconds to post and I just go, I just went out to some shopping mall. I didn't have a mobile internet uh, at all. Uh, so I couldn't check just an activity, yes, whether it had likes or not, or some new subscribers maybe came. Uh, and I remember that I uh, came to shopping mall after two hours of walking and I connected to the Wi-Fi and suddenly I saw like numerous of notifications on my phone from the TikTok. It was like about likes, about comments uh, left, um, repost made uh, and so on. I was like, oh, oh my God. I'm <laughs> famous. <is> yes, <laughs> no, I'm famous. I'm a superstar. Yeah, I have like 200 followers more. I was shocked because at that very moment I um, had only 50, 50 uh, followers or 100 it was like maximum and then I was like wow in two hours I had 200 more I was shocked <laughs> but it was great yeah that is great uh, so we know the good side of TikTok as you told us like popularity and all the stuff mm -hmm. what about some challenges maybe that TikTok has mm -hmm. that you faced it takes a lot of time it takes really a lot of time because, uh, yes, I said that uh, the video, uh, the first one video which I posted, which uh, went right viral, uh, was um, recorded in like 10 or 15 minutes maximum, yes, and edited. Uh, but actually, if you're, um, if the TikTok is a really serious hobby for you, or you even want to work with it, yes, to make money on TikTok videos, uh, collaborations and uh, so on. You have to put really so much effort, so much time. You have to post video every single day without any breaks. So you, you cannot make breaks. If you feel bad or if you're ill, like nobody cares. And TikTok also doesn't care because uh, it um, uh, immediately puts your, like not in a ban, uh, but the activity on your videos, they will decrease if you don't post videos for like a couple of days. Mm, that's that's yes, the bad it's side like one, actually. One of yeah. the, yes, exactly. It's like one of the algorithms of TikTok, but algorithms. <laughs> so if we start about talking negativity, um, 
have you faced some sort of hate because i know if you are getting famous this is okay if you have haters uh someone who doesn't like your content you and they just want to maybe spoil your mood just to just to tell this that uh, i don't yes. know yeah just spoil uh, write bad comments do you have such situations uh yes i had such situations i had of course bad comments and uh, for example i have one video which uh has six millions of views and almost one million of likes and uh, <laughs> under this video a lot of people they left really so bad comments and not only regarding the situation which i actually uh, described yes in this video or the fact uh, that i told uh, it was more about like me how do i look like about my makeup why it's so like with so much uh makeup on my uh, face and blah 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 so it's really it was so strange because like why people care about it why, why, about, why about me, not about the information I told. And one more thing is that um, it's, also, it's also connected to the algorithm of TikTok, uh, because TikTok also can show your videos to other countries. And to countries uh, which, because um, I am posting video in Russian, always, and TikTok can show your videos to people who doesn't understand Russian. And actually they can um, uh, leave comments uh, in English, for instance, like, oh my god, what is it? Why do I have to watch it? Or why why am I following this girl? Because maybe he followed me by mistake or something. And who is that? I don't understand. Oh my god, go and like... <laughs> and you're like, why are you writing it here? <laughs> yes, like, <laughs> just unsubscribe, unfollow and please goodbye. <laughs> yes. What just about, are you like reading all the comments or you're just not caring about and responding maybe to all the comments uh, actually it's one of the tip for uh, those who want to become popular in TikTok you always have to answer to all the comments which you have below the video because uh, in this case you will have more comments like twice more <laughs> because you will answer each of the comments uh, is the first thing uh, and the next is that um, you can go into the conversation with some haters uh, because actually haters uh, they are like your best friends on TikTok because they always leave the comments if somebody leave, um, leave the comments uh, uh, under your video your video will go viral and will become popular because the more comments the more popular video is and the more reposts and likes it has so um, always try to answer something something not bad just like why are you telling it or we'll take it into consideration thank yes. you <laughs> <laughs> so you have a lot good. of makeup we'll take it okay <laughs> <laughs> do you have any unusual story like maybe in, on your dms someone was uh typing you something weird uh, by the way it's great because on tiktok you don't have uh, direct messages so you cannot uh -huh. write anything to the person you are watching on TikTok. Uh, uh, only in situation if it's your friend or she or he is your friend, so you are following like each other. Only in this case, uh, you can like um, I don't know, repost some video to your friend, send it to your friend, uh, and to communicate. But I think that nobody uh, uses it because we have messengers, Instagram. So uh, TikTok is only for reposting the videos, so you can. You post your videos to your friends and like, oh, see, maybe it's like us and so on. Uh, so it's great. But they can, uh, haters can find you on Instagram and write you on Instagram <laughs> if they don't have free time. Uh, no, if they have um, more free time, yes, they can find you really on Instagram and write something bad here. But you can just not if, answer. In case they really want to spoil your mood, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, what was your, uh, okay, once you got famous, and well, I guess, what was your reaction of your friends? How did you have some I don't, conflicts or maybe did you lose some friends? Because there's a lot of stories that start getting um, more popular and then she loses her friends. Uh, jealousy. Like, first of all, I <laughs> I don't think I'm so famous <laughs> in oh, order to lose. likes, it's, it's <laughs> not... It's great, but anyway, you know, I think that... Um, uh, in, okay, if you really have, like, if they are really truly your friends and if you have great relationship with each other for many years or like, okay, for some period of time, 
I think that in this case you cannot just lose your friends. Uh, maybe it's just he or she was not your friends. So and actually showed their faces. Yeah, and they yeah. showed it, and you can just. Uh, I didn't have uh, such situations, and I hope I will not have them. So they're supporting you. Yeah, yeah. All my friends, my family, they support me. Actually, if we're talking about my family, I don't think that they know what TikTok is. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Actually, the question, uh, the next question was about your attitude of your family. Yes. You haven't told them about what and you're doing? No, I told them, but their reaction was like, What's a tic what is TikTok? <laughs> you're <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I just don't care. I think that my father um, doesn't even know what is Instagram, <laughs> so... What is TikTok? I think it's really so complicated. <laughs> it will be for him. But my mom knows and my sister knows, of course, because she's like also uh, the same age uh, as I am. And uh, they support me. Yes, if we're um, considering friends, they even can help me with some ideas because uh, as I told before, I... Um, uh, I'm sharing uh, with my audience information about different facts and for instance they can send me just some fact uh, on uh, uh, Instagram as well or on Telegram and I was uh, I was like mm, that's a great idea I can post it I can make a video about it so yes they support me uh, that's great when you have support from your family you're like inspired more about the inspiration itself where are you getting this and because sometimes uh, it happens that you have no motivation, no inspiration to do s some videos, to record it. Did you have such cases? Mm, I remember that when I felt bad because of disease, because w I was ill. Um, actually, I didn't have like any desire to make videos and it was uh, the, uh, the only one moment when I stopped uh, making videos for TikTok and posting it for three weeks maybe and <laughs> yes you lost uh, followers um mm, i didn't like i didn't lose a lot of followers i cannot say that i lost a lot of followers but um for instance bec before this uh, disease like uh like a fluid was or something uh not corona <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before this i remember that i mm, had great statistics really because uh i um, I made a lot of videos. I tried to post three videos a day and I um, was getting a lot of new followers every single day as well. And after um, the fact that I stopped posting, it was just like, it was freezed, you know. And of course somebody unfollowed me, but like it's okay. It was like maybe 200 people maximum. So, so it's yes it's okay uh, you are usually as you said your parents or family are sending you facts that you are recording then where else are you getting this information uh, not all the time uh, family and friends they can just uh, send something but i just decide whether i want to post it or not um like in general i take all the information or on the news uh, portals or on YouTube, for instance, because on YouTube we have a lot of videos about facts as well. And I actually like watching it, like BBC or something. So, <laughs> you know, in the evening I can just see it and watching it uh, on the YouTube. And I was like, mm, that's a great idea to post this on TikTok. But you know, TikTok is like a, a little version. Uh, it's like a little i don't know browser of youtube <laughs> because you also p uh, post a video here but it's much more easier you don't need to have an equipment like we have here <laughs> to make great videos on youtube mm, and um, you can actually share the same information just in a more like smaller size because in tiktok you have to post video till 15 seconds maximum uh long yes yeah so it should be so small and that should be a short one so mm -hmm. what about copying because i know um i've read some tips how to get famous blah 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 it's like just to copy from anyone that you like mm -hmm. and you can get into recommendations as well did you copy it or was it your idea uh when i mm, when i was recording videos about poland living in poland um, I actually, it's not about copying, it's about trends. So you can see, for instance, some sound, yes, some music, and uh, you can just um, make it for your, you can use this trend for your own ideas. 
I mean, you can see that somebody is, uh, I don't know, um, somebody is using this music for his or her own joke about something, and you can just use the same music for your own joke about something. So it works like this. It's about trends. And in case you use trends uh, and viral music, you will get into recommendations so quickly because f mm, sometimes TikTok even pays, um, not pays money, uh, uh, music artists, they pay money f to TikTok uh, in order to have more, much more people who will use uh, this sound who will dance for this, uh, for, with this sound, who will, I don't know, post some jokes. And it's a really great way to become popular if you want to gain more audience. Yeah, about, what about the attitude towards the TikTok, your attitude? I mean, there are so many stories of TikTok stars. They are just quitting their job, education, whatever, and start and entirely spend their time just to make a content for their people mm -hmm. have you got such thought uh, yes uh, i had uh i have a work now actually like my main workplace uh from monday to friday and of course it takes really a lot of time uh because uh, you are getting up early you you're working till the evening then you come home okay now we have home office so it's easier but anyways uh, you come home and you are so tired and you remember that, oh, no, I have to uh, make videos uh, for my TikTok, I have to post it, I have to edit it, I have to answer uh, on the comments and uh, I have to find the ideas actually to, to create some videos, yes? And of course, in case I uh, don't have a job, it would be much more easier because I don't study right now, I finished university, Lazarski. One love, <laughs> and uh, of course, I think that without job it will be much more easier. But anyways, I love my job. I in case my supervisor is watching this <laughs> video, <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> yeah. So uh, TikTok is more about hobby right now for me. Let's assume that one morning you woke up, you have um, I don't know five million followers. You've got. Oh. <laughs> Will you think at that time just to quit your job, say, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna work for eight or ten hours in a w w workplace, I'm just gonna spend my time on TikTok, <laughs> this is more profitable for me. Actually, I think that it would be much more profitable, <laughs> of course, yeah. mm, but actually, I don't know, because uh, right now, five million of followers, it, it's really so complicated, it's not just uh, like the... Mm, moment of one night, yes, like you're, as you told, you're posting video, get up and you have like five more, fo five million, five millions of followers. Who knows, who knows. Yeah, who knows, <laughs> I, I understand, but anyways, maybe one year ago it could be uh, possible, like, uh, it was okay, I think, five years, oh, five years ago, oh my gosh, one year ago. Uh, but right now, I don't know, actually, I have to be prepared for it, but uh, because anyway, you can actually have five millions of followers or one million of followers at least but uh, you will not make money on it because you don't know how to do it actually because you're just posting yeah. a video and that's all uh, have you thought about going for such hype house like uh, tiktokers are usually gathering together and creating you know this ah, hype houses yes. <laughs> uh, to work better on their content to develop themselves have you had a thought to go there, maybe to join? Uh, no, I don't like Hype House, actually. I'm always, um, like when I uh, I have my feed, yes, for your page on TikTok, and when I see some videos from uh, any Hype Houses, I'm just, just scrolling. <laughs> yeah, just scrolling now because, I don't know, I don't like it because I don't have, uh, I don't see any uh, useful content because they're usually just, um, having fun so it's it's more about entertainment it's also great it's okay for tiktok to have an entertaining content because people they open this uh, app uh, and they want to chill yes to watch something maybe something fun some fun and some dancing and no movies and so on but it's like really i don't know it's not it's not for me this content i like something more useful for people so yeah yes. maybe you have to pay attention for the more useful things on TikTok, just to spend your time on something yes. yeah, convenient. Uh, what about 
Uh, money, you have touched this topic, but mm -hmm. uh, you said that you cannot earn, you don't know how to do this. But as I know, for instance, in USA, they're earning a lot on TikTok, like millions of dollars, the TikTok stars. Uh, have you, um, can you name maybe the number and what is the reason of you not earning such money by having so many likes? Uh, uh, no, actually I told that people don't know how to earn money. I, I know how to earn ah, money. Okay. <laughs> um right now we uh, tiktok uh still didn't provide you know for um for lots of countries this um, when they uh, when uh, tiktok pays you for uh mm, you to get the, yeah, yes uh, because uh tiktok uh introduced it in usa in uh, great britain mm. in france in france and in germany if i'm right but still in poland we still <laughs> don't have it in russia as well in ukraine uh but i hope that this year they will introduce it and we will have such a great opportunity uh for uh our efforts yes put it uh, but anyway, you can earn money uh, in different ways, actually, because you can post, for instance, your audience to Instagram. And exactly on Instagram, you can uh, sell your goods, your products, your info products, courses, checklists, uh, and uh, blah, blah, blah. And I think that is really a great chance for somebody who has some skills in English, as I said before, yes, in math or something, you can just sell your courses. Uh, on Instagram and promote them on TikTok for free because on Instagram you anyway have to pay money for the advertisement but on TikTok you doesn't you don't have to put money uh, and you can just post videos and it will uh, go viral and you will have much more customers for your product uh, and uh, another way is just to um, have collaborations uh, collaborations with brands, with some companies, um, for example, it could be also collaborations with different artists, uh, because you can make videos uh, with and use their songs, and they will just pay you money for this. I had this situation, by the that's, way. <laughs> that's very interesting. Yes. I'm just thinking about start doing TikTok. <gasps> oh, like, just don't think, just start and... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe really one perfect. day. Um, so what about skills? What sort of skills brought you TikTok as a, as a person, maybe? Mm, first of all, maybe it will be self-confidence because... Um, for now, I uh, I just, uh, as I said before to you, I worked as a TV hostess and I had like experience to how to behave um, uh, in front of camera, mm -hmm. uh, but it was only for three months or something for like summer and I have already forgot about it, like how to to feel yourself in front of cameras. Uh, but TikTok, when you're making videos, you're feeling like you're, I don't know, uh, actress or something because you're uh, putting all the equipment, lights, uh, tripods, uh, microphone, uh, like your phone uh, as a camera, yes, and you can be like a TV host uh, again, you know, <laughs> so it's, it's great feeling and I think it's um, about self-confidence um and also public speaking maybe because you're not speaking uh of course in front of numerous of people you ju it's just you and the camera and y and your phone uh but anyway you will post it later to thousands of people or even millions of people and they will see you they will um hear like how you you're talking yes so it's a great also about public speaking i think yeah uh like most of the people are scared to start TikTok or maybe blogging just in general just because of the fear to be hated or not to have a uh, good self-esteem you know can you please share maybe with some tips advice give some advices to our uh, audience of how to overcome it how did you overcome it and how maybe to get famous on TikTok <laughs> Uh, how to use the light you know all these things are very necessary <laughs> to ha to do uh, the right way Yes, maybe f uh, first of all about how to overcome this uh, uh, hate from the um, surroundings, like I mean from the, um, even from friends, from family, yes, when somebody from 
uh, your site is uh, telling you that no, just don't do it. It looks you look funny and nothing more. I think that first of all, it's your life, so you don't have to pay attention to other people if even if they are your friends, your family, because anyways you have your own life they have their own life their own goals and um, like everything yes you have everything different so it's okay if you want to become a blogger if you want to make videos if you want to i don't know gain popularity audience uh, because it's actually normal i think in 2021 <laughs> yes so it's not strange at all and a lot of people have uh, their um, main job as a blogger. It's okay r right now. So just go and don't think really about this hate from other people. It, it, it doesn't force it actually. <laughs> and about the uh, gaining popularity, I don't think really that uh, all the people need to gain actually popularity on TikTok because uh, somebody wants, just to it before, just to sell their products here. Uh, like some commercial page, like some shop, um, clothing shop, yes, or uh, some doctor wants to wants to sell um, uh, his or her services, yes, or some dentist, I don't know. It's really s very great opportunity for you right now to enter this platform because here you can do everything for free. You don't have to really put any money in on TikTok right now. Maybe in one year you will, <laughs> but right now you don't have to, so why not? <laughs> Thank you so much, Janetta, for such useful interview. I guess our audience will go after that, start downloading TikTok and start getting famous uh, because we have so many useful tips and advices. So thank you and stay in touch. Bye. Thank you. Bye.